when we're looking at how we can create silicon respondent synthetic data, there's this problem around how to deal with heterogeneity in, in human preferences. In terms of like when we think about what capabilities to get through MR, there's um, actually surprisingly small number of research papers on the topic. There's, 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 there's more than a few, but there's not hundreds. If I look about capabilities that people are testing in research, some of the things certainly people are finding, you know, lots of things to do around efficiency and data collection. There's the idea about being able to mimic human preferences. And we hear this idea concept around synthetic data or silicon respondents, but there's at the same time, what we're finding in terms of the limitations in these capabilities is things around, there's definitely big challenges around demographic heterogeneity. There's a big difficulty in getting representative sample in this world. Um, and we'll talk more about the nature of training in that, but this is sort of limitations and that you can be testing, but you need to be mindful that you may not be getting really, really robust answers. So you have to start thinking about how to balance that and starting to engage with these models in different ways. In using... AI in research in the processes, we're all trying to build very robust and representative views in the marketplace. In using AI, you have this problem with, with bias and distortion, errors. And so what is, how do you start to articulate the use of it? How can you make sure you're not dealing with misleading findings? How do you have, make it transparent how you're using it? How do you use responsibilities? So there's, I think for us all collectively, as we push the boundaries, understanding how to Think about these things becomes super important.